to Spiritual Dessert Trees episode 148 for Russell Brand and other people. This one is a story about Einstein and a letter to his daughter on the universal force of love. <laughs> Without further ado, in the late 1980s, Lisa, the daughter of the famous genius, donated 1,400 letters written by Einstein to the Hebrew University with orders not to publish their contents until two decades after his death. This is one of them. When I proposed the theory of relativity, very few understood me, and what I will reveal now to transmit to mankind will also collide with the misunderstanding and prejudice of the world. I ask you to guard the letters as long as necessary, years, decades, until society is advanced enough to accept what I will explain now. There is an extremely powerful force that so far science has not found a formal explanation to. It is the force that includes and governs all others and is even behind any phenomena operating in the universe and has not yet been identified by us. And this universal force is love. <laughs> when scientists look for a unified theory of the universe, they forgot the most powerful unseen force. Love is light that enlightens those who give and receive it. Love is gravity because it makes some people feel attracted to others. Love is power because it multiplies the best we have and allows humanity not to be extinguished in their blind selfishness. Love unfolds and reveals. For love, we live and die. Love is God and God is love. Imagine this came from a scientist. <laughs> this force explains everything and gives meaning to life. This is the variable that we have ignored for far too long, maybe because we're afraid of love, because it is the only energy of the universe that man has not learned to drive at will. To give visibility to love, I made a simple substitution in my most famous equation, e equals mc squared. We accept that the energy to heal the world can be obtained through love multiplied by the speed of light squared. We arrive at the conclusion that love is the most powerful force there is because it has no limits. After the failure of humanity in the use and control of the other forces of the universe that have turned against us, it is urgent that we nourish ourselves with another kind of energy. If we want our species to survive, if we are to find meaning in life, if we want to save the world and every sentient being that inhabits it, love is the one and only answer. Perhaps we're not yet ready to make a bomb of love. I am! <laughs> yes. The love bomb. <laughs> a device powerful enough to entirely destroy the hate, selfishness, and greed that devastate the planet. However, each individual carries within them a small but powerful generator of love whose energy is waiting to be released. When we learn to give and receive this universal energy, dear Liesel, we will have affirmed that love conquers all. It is able to transcend everything and anything because love is the quintessence of life. I deeply regret not having been able to express that. What is in my heart, which is quietly beaten for you all of my life, maybe it's too late to apologize, but as time is relative, I need to tell you that I love you, and thanks to you, I've reached the ultimate answer. Love your father, Albert Einstein. Yay! Kisses. Love you.